Hey class, Mr. G here. Today we're gonna to be talking about cosplay and Photoshop and turning some people into comic book characters. Now, I live in Atlanta. In Atlanta, we have Dragon Con. Dragon Con is this annual event. People come rent from all over the country or the world in some cases, and they dress up in their favorite cosplay of a character that they're a big fan of. So during that event, it's a three or four day event. I go down and I photograph the parade. It's a huge family event, it's lots of fun, lots of good picture taken and you get to see all these different people dress up in cosplay. Taking these pictures of these people and I, I spend several days editing them, trying to get back out to them through Facebook and whatnot. You have these images left over. What can we do with these images once we've taken them and, and done the initial edit? So I'm taking these images, tossing them through Photoshop and actually turning them into comic books themselves. So another way to support people, the geek culture, big fan of it myself. I'm a proud member of being a geek and, and doing the geek lifestyle. Uh, so let's deep dive into Photoshop. Now, once you've got Photoshop open, we're gonna do some basic things. So first thing we're gonna do is go through a threshold adjustment. What we're doing is we're changing out the contrast levels between a really strong white and a really strong black in our image. And what I'm doing is I'm doing several of these together. The reason being is because I'm noticing where there are some lighter points or some darker points where I wanna bring more uh, structure into the image, but, but if I, do that one threshold, it blows things out of proportion for me. I want to give it more of those details that I'm missing by doing uh, just that one threshold application. Now, once you've got those strong blocks in there, we're going to erase some. Make sure that you're using the right layers to so make sure that your layers are added in the right proportions. Now, what we're doing is we're erasing elements of the image that we want to bring back. So we have that high contrast relief, the strong blacks, the strong whites, and having that element of that gray zone where we are giving a good amount of contrast. Now, why would we do this? Now, one is we need this as our base element for our comic book, for our comic book people. We need to have the strong line elements for the comic book. Uh, if you ever guys looked at a comic book, you're looking at the line quality of each of those characters. That's what we really wanna bring out. Now, second of that, this is great as another project for you guys to do where you'll create these threshold pieces like this and print them out and you got an instant color color palette uh some of the uh, coloring books so something for you guys to create where you can color it the own with your own style do a watercolor application acrylic application you want to turn this into a graffiti piece where you're cutting out the black to give it that subtraction element and then spray painting some uh using it to spray paint on great pro great uh project for you guys there next one that we're gonna be jumping into is where we're actually starting to take and add a color element behind those threshold pieces so Or I've used this several times when I'm creating my, when I'm doing a graffiti piece, I will go in and I will print these out, cut them out with an X-Acto blade and then use them as a spray painting mask. Now, when you pull these in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to oil paint and change the levels up. What I need to do is I need to see my image and what how the lines are going to be evolving i want a nice strong line it's going to be easier to see notice how we can change that bristle detail so it can change from um how much of that stylization we're going to get that paint structure or if we're going to have just a black and white image i like giving it more of the painter structure because it looks a little better from just the digital version if you're going to print it out it's really kind of an artist's choice on that point and we're just going to copy the the oil painting features and drag it down below there's a hit uh, just hold and click alt and drag that below and you can copy the same style that you did to the other image below it so now we're going to look at adding the color element now for this one we're going to go up into filter filter gallery and we're going to select our poster edges for the poster edges can give us those nice poster colors so you can pick your thickness. Your posterization is really where you're having the lines of color, having those segments. I'm having to play around with this because I'm looking at the eyes. I want those nice, strong black areas around the eye. That's what I want to see. So make sure as you're adding that in that you're picking the one that works best for you. 
So all of my other pieces, I'm going to add that I've done threshold on and add multiply. And it's gonna just take away the white and give me that strong line quality that I wanna see without having the mess and fuss of having to go back and shade certain elements out. Now you can go in there and change the fill section. Under the fill section, that's gonna pull back how much of that uh, line quality is really pressed in there. So you got a nice artistic style version of the image. Finally, we're gonna start taking these and turning them into comic book elements. So what I want you guys to see is I'm stacking up several images together and we're gonna create a single image using the comic book character that, we, that we're using in this image, which is uh, Big Daddy and Daughter from Bioshock. Uh, so I wanted to create that, that world of Bioshock. So when you're looking at this, research the characters from where they come from. Uh, the world of Bioshock is an underground, uh, underwater city you have these characters that are trying to come after you and they're just kind of a, a fun point in the game now for this being under the sea I'm gonna have to have a sea element a city element that looks like it's been devastated have it that nice apocalyptic style to it and I'm using these characters where we're looking at real people addressing comic and we're gonna turn them into the comic book characters I started creating this series too. I started thinking about let's turn this into a series. So this is just part one. Uh, part two is we're going to take these same designs and we're going to start making comic books out of them. Uh, I've got enough pictures and different poses of different characters and different, doing different things. Uh, so we're going to make a mini comic book using real photographs to build that comic book.
All right, class, I hope that you have enjoyed watching how to turn a image into a comic book picture. Uh, we're going to continue this again. As I said, we're going to make this a series and make it more uh, pieces coming out in the future. Throw something down in the comments of, of your thoughts, impressions of doing this project. As always, let's go ahead and wrap up at class as we always do. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share, and, all, and get the message out to all of your platforms. That's your homework for today. Uh, other than that, if you guys have questions, comments, and concerns, make sure you raise your hand down in the comments below. Happy to answer the questions from my classmates. Other than that, as always, I will see you guys next class. Until then, stay creative, stay safe. Love you guys. See you guys later.